Okay, brilliant. Good evening, everybody. Uh, my name is Tom Wilkinson, and for my ICP 200, I'm going to discuss civil engineers and passion for food, more specifically, foul water disposal in remote areas. So, a quick scope uh, of my presentation I'm going to go into the importance of correct uh, foul water disposal. Uh, foul water disposal, specifically in the rural setting, recent legislative change of septic tanks uh, in the UK and how to bring systems up to compliance. Um, but before I get into it, I'll just share the one thing that we in this room all share have in common, and that is everybody feeds. There's no getting away from the fact, even the royal fam family does it. Um, and it's something, as Brits, it's a, it's a topic we don't like to talk about, but something as civil engineers together, it's very essential that we look into it uh, and as a community and um, get safe and sustainable solutions to it. Okay, so why is it important uh, to correctly uh, dispose of foul water? There's no getting away from the fact it smells. There's a period in our time in the UK uh, called the Great Stink, and that uh, prompted um, the construction of Sir Philip Paddock's famous London sewers, uh, and sewers all across the uh, nation that we see. Um, foul water sewage gets into the environment and can have uh, very negative effects. Uh, we see it in our, in our waterways and areas, we see complete in fish docks, and whilst you might go rowing or be near that water course, might make you a little bit ill, uh, it's a much bigger problem on a global scale. We just need to have a look at the World Health Organization statistics. Um, over 2.3 billion people don't currently have access to um, a toilet, and that's uh, actually towards 800 child children deaths a day. Obviously quite uh, shocking statistics. Um, so back, back to the UK and staying on the correct side of the law. Uh, rural foul water discharges in the UK, so what do we do when we don't have a public sewer in the area? Uh, our options on the face of it appear fairly limited. We can store it in the form of cesspits. Uh, we can either treat it on site in specific uh, treatment systems, reed beds, reed solutions, or as what seems to be commonplace, the most effective is use of septic tanks, which sort of do a bit of a mixture of the two and still discharge uh, to the water dots or to the ground. The best solution ultimately depends on the site and the constraints we as engineers are presented with. So, the 2020 septic tank regulations. Um, it defines the septic tank discharges to water bottles must all be replaced by 2020. It's something that came in 10 years ago, something not a lot of people know about, and something that a lot of changes are required on site um, for people to come compliant. Whether it's switching discharges to drainage fields which are suitable, or replacing them with um, specific treatment systems, um, which will potentially require planning and building regulations improvement. So why is this important? Our rural population in the UK is shown to be ever increasing. The Office of Natural Statistics states it's increasing by over 6% by 2025. Um, and that, I'll go back to risks of contamination to water courses. It provides a better environment for us all to live in, uh, and it's important for a sustainable future. Um, and we can well, keep that on a global scale. So that's important in the model over there. That's great. Thank you, Tom.